Good morning everyone, this is uh, Ryan with Telstar Technologies. We're going to do a brief video here on how to program buttons on your Nortel, MICS, and CICS phone systems. Pretty simple to get started. Uh, we're going to talk about pro programming some extensions. Pretty simple to program an extension. You're going to use Feature Star 2. Okay, press a programmable button. Okay, dial the extension. And the button's program. Pretty simple. One thing I want to iterate uh, here real quick is uh, you cannot program over line buttons. You cannot program over intercom and hands-free buttons. Uh, any of the other buttons on the phone, they're open season to, to do with what you will. Okay, the next thing we'll talk about is programming an external phone number. So a cell phone, another business, things like that. If I want to program Carol's cell phone number here on this button, I'm going to press feature star 1. Press that button. Dial 9 or your appropriate access code. The majority of people use 9. Some of them use 8, 7, 6, you know, so on and so forth. In this case, we're going to use 9. Dial the phone number. Um, just going to put a bogus phone number in there uh, right now. Hit OK. That button is now programmed. Uh, next thing we're going to talk about is some features. Uh, let's program some features on our on our uh, phone system. Uh, there's 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 tons and tons of features that Nortel has. Uh, I'm not going to go through every single one of them. If you want to uh, look up Nortel feature codes online, just uh, go to Google and type in uh, Nortel feature codes. There are plenty of PDFs out there to show you all of the feature codes available on the Nortel phone system. I'm not going to go through them all. I'm just going to go through some of the uh, most commonly used features. Okay, first one we're going to talk about is the uh, uh, the open mailbox. Let's talk a little bit about voicemail to start out with. So to program features, it's always feature star 3. Okay, Press the programmable button. We're going to put a voicemail key on the phone so the person can check their mailbox. That feature code is feature 981. Next one we're going to talk about is a voicemail transfer key. Feature star 3 as well. Press voicemail transfer. Feature 986. Okay, That's voicemail transfer. Those are the two most common voicemail features you're going to use. Uh, now let's talk about some regular phone system features. Uh, let's do a transfer button. Feature star 3 again. Press the button. Feature 7-0 is transfer. Now if you have a 7310, 7324, uh, 7316, you've got hotkeys right here under the display. This one will turn into a transfer button when a call is able to be transferred. So there's no reason to waste button real estate on a transfer button unless you have like a 7100 or a 7208 you know, one of the smaller telephones because uh, you're going to get a transfer button right here under the display. Just wanted to show you what the feature code was. Next one's going to be conference, feature star 3, as always. Press a button, feature 3 is the conference. Okay. Uh, next one we'll talk about is voice call. This is something that's used pretty often in a Nortel. Feature star 3 again. Press a button, feature 66 will be your voice call feature. Next one we're going to talk about is paging. Okay, again, feature star 3. Press a programmable button. Let's just program it over Dara's button here. I'm going to make this a page button. Feature 6-0 is paging. Now, if I press that button, it gives me some choices. Sets, speaker, and both. Okay, that's the most common page button. You can also make one that's already both. Okay, if you want to make one that already is sets and speakers, uh, feature star 3 again. Press that button. Feature 631. I personally use Feature 631 when I'm programming my Nortel systems, but uh, again, it's up to the end user of, of how they want it to be. Uh, this way there's no confusion. It's just going to hit both at all times. Uh, that's the way I recommend doing it. Uh, last thing we're going to talk about is moving line buttons around. We get this question a lot, uh, mainly on the old 7316s, not the 16Es. They'll put the lines right here in the middle sometimes. Uh, and the way you move those to other buttons is feature star 81. It says move line from. Well, I want to move this line from here, and I want to move it over here. So you press that button, and you press that button, it swaps them. Same thing, it keeps you there already. I can move line 2 to right here if I want. And same thing, you know, moving it back the other direction. If I want to take these and move them right back to where they belong, I can do that. Uh, move line from. I want it from here to here. It's just that simple. Okay, we get that call a lot. Uh, mainly on the, the old 7316s, the, the E model fixed that. Uh, the 7310s, 7324s, 
they don't do that. It automatically starts them at the very top key and works their way down, but uh, uh, that's how you move lines around. Uh, if you found this video uh, helpful, uh, please like and subscribe. Uh, it really helps us out a ton, allows us to keep making